Hi. In this video, I just want to talk very quickly about variable reassignment. Now, we've already seen this before, but I want to emphasize a certain point. So, suppose we have this line of code, my var equals 10. Now, we know already what's happening, right? We have an object in memory that gets created at some memory address, type integer, value 10, and my var is simply a reference to that object, a pointer. If we later write a line of code like my var equals 15, then we are not changing the value inside that object. That's the point that I want to make in this video. Instead, what's happening is that a new object, also of type integer, but with a value of 15, is created at some different memory address. And the reference of my var changes to this new object. So my val now points to this new object but we have not changed the value of this object at memory address, let's say 1000. Okay? Instead, we created a new object at a different memory address. So that's a really important point that I want to stress that. And in fact, even if you look, let's say, at this code, so let's start again, my var equals 10, my var is a pointer to that object. If we write my var equals my var plus 5, the same thing happens. Don't be fooled. Don't think that because we have my var on both sides of this expression that somehow something changes and now we're changing the value of that object. We are not. Python first evaluates the right hand side. So it looks at my var, says, hey, I have to add 5 to my var. Okay, what's my var? My var is an integer with a value of 10. Okay, that's integer addition. 10 plus 5 is 15. It creates a new object in memory. Okay, at a different memory address with a value of 15 and my var now points to that new object. But we did not change the contents or the value or the state of the object at address 1000. In fact, the content of integers can never be changed. And we'll look at that in the next section when we look at mutability and immutability of objects. So that will be coming right up, but first let's take a look at some code and just see this in action very quickly. Okay, so let's just look at this in some code. So we create this variable a, we assign it the value of 10. So it created an object in memory of type integer at some memory address. We can look at the memory address, that's the memory address. We can even if we want look at the type of a which is integer. So let's now say a equals 15. Okay, now we can again look at the memory address of a. And you'll notice that the memory address of a has changed. It, used, it was, you know, ending in af0 and here we see it ends in b90. Different object. So that's what happened when we changed the value of a. We actually just reassigned the reference of a to a different object. And it's no different if we say a equals a plus 1, then we'll get something similar. We'll see that the memory address now of a has changed yet again. Right? Now a is a value of 16, and it's a different object in memory, ebb0 in this case. Now, before we finish up, I want to show you something that might surprise you. Let's say we have a equals 10 again. And let's create another variable, b equals 10. And let's look at the memory address of a. And let's look at the memory address of b. You'll notice the memory address of a and b are the same. In other words, a and b are both pointing to the same object. They're both pointing to an object at that memory address that happens to be an integer with a value of 10. So we'll look at that in the next video. We'll consider mutability and immutability. And we'll see then after that why it's actually safe for that to happen. And then in a future video, uh, probably four or five videos from here, we'll look at why this is happening. Why is Python doing this? Why is it reusing that memory address essentially? Okay. So, but first, we're going to look at mutability and immutability, and then we'll see why it's actually safe for Python to do something like that, and then we'll look at why it actually does it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.